Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you a little troubleshooting tip, something you may have come across if you are writing or pasting in CSS snippets maybe from one of our tutorials. You may see a, an error that says something like expected R brace and you may think what in the world is this and why is my code not working? Well, in this short video I'm going to explain what is going on here and give you the solution to that. I have the written tutorial here linked in the description so you can follow along with that if you need it to. But basically the problem here is illustrated in this screenshot. You're going to have some kind of CSS code that you're pasting in the main element of a um, any module really. And you're going to get something like in the screenshot, it'll say expected R brace, and you may also get the unexpected token. And most likely you'll get both of them, especially if you are, are pasting it in this main element. All right, so that, let's just kind of take a look at this and figure out what's going on here. So like I said, you were probably copying code from a tutorial and you're just pasting it and you're like, what? what's going on? Why isn't it working? Well. Let's think about it. It's saying expected R brace. So something was expected. And since it's giving the error, it didn't get what was expected. Um, and what was expected was an R brace. So a right brace or a closing curly brace. The, the, the right one on the right side, the ending one is what it's saying. So it's expecting to have, um, where do I have one? written here anywhere. It's like the curly symbol, you know, you can kind of see it in this one here, but that's what it's expecting. Well, then in the other one, it says unexpected token, and that's also a right brace. <laughs> so it's, it's a conflicting message, which makes it even more confusing to you if, if you don't know what's going on. So I totally get why, why that would be confusing. So think about it. there's, there's two errors here. One is saying, Hey, I'm expecting an and a right brace and the other one's saying oh, there's an unexpected right brace but if you look in the code there's there's just one there you know so what's going on the problem is actually kind of like a false positive it is an it is an issue but it's it's not able to communicate the issue properly to you um, what it should say if it was able to it would say hey you're posting this code in the wrong location this won't work here so that's why it's giving you like this mixed signal of like two different things um, you cannot post you know code like that in the main element of a module so i was just going to give you a quick example I, I clicked on a random tutorial like like this here i'll just like copy a code snippet maybe you've done that and maybe you've come in here to the advanced tab of a module to the custom CSS and like right here if I, if I paste that code um, be a few seconds and then boom there I get these these two errors so that's probably why you have found this tutorial and if you're seeing that it, it's trying to tell you like this won't work here you're in the wrong location this is completely the wrong location like this code box that's not where it says to put it where you actually need to be putting code would be in the back end. You would go to the back end of your dashboard, go to Divi, theme options, and then scroll down here to the bottom to this code box, and then you could paste it here, and you're not going to get that error there. Now let me just clarify something. If you already were working here and you were getting that um, error like that, you may get it if you don't have that right brace. See there, you can actually see expected R brace. And that's telling you that, hey, it was expecting to have that because each of those code blocks needs to have a closing curly bracket. So if you were getting it here, that's why you just, you just missed it. Most likely you're probably finding my tutorial um, due to putting it in the main element and that's just not the lo correct location. So let me try to explain that. Um, if I had a, if I added a text module, okay. Now the text module, if I go to the advanced tab and try to put something in here, it would be like adding code inside a module, which is not where you add code. You don't add code inside a module. But if I click this little question mark, 
look here, it says ETPB text and then underscore zero. But anyway, so if I'd put something else here, like, you know, my selector and then, you know, my whatever the property is like, yeah, let's we'll do color red just to make it simple. Well, that's not going to work because the selector is already the main element selector is already ETPB text. So I can't add another selector here. What I could do is get rid of the selector and all the braces. And look, it actually it actually worked and the code error went away. So think of it, if I'm putting this here, think of this as already wrapping it in those curly braces. Like think of it as writing um, ETPB, well, Think of it as writing it already like that, but since this code block is already that, you don't need that the extra selector and the brackets. So that's what it's. That's the main problem. You can put any styling in here to style this guy, whichever one you're in. If you're in a different module, you can always click this question mark and then see what the actual selector is, and you can write any styles here to affect that. But you're not going to be able to like go to like a random tutorial here and copy code because look here's a selector and then there's the beginning curly brace and then here's the ending curly brace the R brace so that is why it's not working but the real answer is just put it in the correct location you know what I mean um, I tried to explain it as good as possible in my writing here and hopefully I'm doing a good enough job but basically if if you're confused just just put it in theme options, okay? Anytime you're on like a tutorial like mine and you have a code snippet, you, you don't put it in the module. That will not work. You, you would never go into your module to the advanced tab and like paste a whole snippet of code unless it was just like the styling like that. You would always go into theme options um, where I showed you back here, okay? If you want to learn more about that, I actually have a linked tutorial here where I talk about where to add code in Divi, any CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, um, and PHP, and that will tell you about where to place that. So there you go. If you were having that problem, I know some people had that problem. In fact, some people asked me to do this tutorial, and I said that's a great idea. So I hope it was useful to somebody, and if so, just give me a thumbs up and comment that actually helps other people with the same problem find this video. So thank you and we'll see you in the next video.